Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another quick edit video. And on this winter landscape, I'm going to apply a cold moody style. And I have worked on a different version of this location a few days ago actually, but a lot of people didn't like the warm color style. So I thought I want to give you a different version as well, which I personally didn't like that much, but maybe the post-processing will be helpful for some of you. So here are the before and after images for the moody blue look. By the way, for the editing, I will be using Adobe Lightroom Classic. So let's first go to the lens corrections and activate those to settings. And then back to the top, I'm changing the profile to Adobe Standard, which will just lessen the contrast a little bit. So for the white balance, I try to make this image slightly warmer. All right, then for the basic adjustments, right now the image does lack some contrast and it's rather bright. So I can fix that by first dropping the shadows. Also, when we take a look at the histogram, we can see there's a lot of room left on the darker side. So I can make use of this and simply drop the blacks as well. Okay, that looks much better already. Next, I want to make it look a little softer by dropping the texture. Also, I'm increasing the clarity, which will give this image some more detail. And then for the moody blue look, I want to have less saturation, so I'm dropping the vibrance. All right, then that's it for the base adjustments. Now let's take a look at the local adjustments. And I want to start with the gradiated filters. And here I just use them on the sky, which I want to make a little darker. So with the first one right here, let's drop the exposure. And let's also drop the texture. Okay. And for the next one, you can see this one goes a little further down. And that means it also affects the mountain, which I actually don't want this way. In this case, you can see I have activated the color range mask and with the eyedropper, I have selected the blue of the sky in the back. That means if I'm turning down the exposure, only this blue color tone will be affected by the change. And let's make it really, really dark. So it looks like a polarization effect. Okay, and that's it for the gradiated filters. Now I have also applied one radial filter for this little pond in the foreground. And here I just want to have some more texture. And I also want to boost the clarity. All right, then that's it for the local adjustments. Now I want to do some color grading. In the HSL tab, first I want to drop the blue saturation. And then I'm switching to the luminance tab where I'm going to drop the blue luminance which will make the sky darker again. All right, then let's do the split toning. I'm going to make use of the highlights and the shadows. And since I'm aiming for a cold blue look, I'm going to apply a cold hue for the highlights and the shadows. And let's push the saturation. Okay, that's it for the highlights. Then for the shadows again, let's go for a cold hue and push the saturation. Okay, nice. Then let's sharpen the image real quick. Also, I want to apply some vignetting. And finally, in the calibration tab, I'm going to drop the blue primary hue. This will give the blue tones just more of an aqua color cast, which I like for this image. All right, that's it for the editing part in Lightroom. Now, of course, I can also check the Nick collection. So let's go to Edit In, Color Effects Pro 4. I want to apply the polarization effect, but only very, very subtle. So let's go with a rather low strength here. I think something like this looks pretty cool and let's save it. Okay, and finally, I have noticed a few sensor spots. That means I'm using the spot removal tool to get rid of them. And just to be sure, let's set the visualize spots box right here. 
And it seems we have eliminated every sensor spot there is. So that's it for editing this moody blue winter landscape. I hope this was interesting and helpful. If you have any questions left then feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.